Welcome back guys to the PvP build on my Magicka DK with the new mythic item. It's a mythic necklace, the saint and the seducer. While in combat you gain 1 or 5 random major buffs, which changes every 10 seconds. Enemies within 12 meters of you gain 1 or 5 random minor debuffs depending on which buff you have. Every single minor debuff will get displayed with a color on the ground. Like this you know exactly what major buff you have and what minor debuff your opponents will have. Buffs and debuffs are major berserk with minor Aim with a whitish color, Major Resolve and Minor Breach with a purple color, Major Force and Minor Bitter look similar to Major Berserk, so watch out for that. Also, kind of gray whitish, Major Evasion, Minor Wound with a pink color, Major Courage and Minor Cowardice with a yellow color. Basically, everything are useful in PvP, all the debuffs and buffs are really really good, one of the best mythics so far at the moment. Combined with Trickery as defense is set, gives us even more major buffs with major protection for tankiness, major expedition movement, major mending vitality for extra healing and major heroism which is nice on a DK for the extra ulti recovery. Fits in very well with uh, Saint and the Seducer. Front buff decided to use Tarnished Nightmare, gives us the extra burst damage we need, especially as one VX player. Also plus the Sanders effect which procs minor breach and extra 100 weapon spell damage, but any proc set on the front bar works here, for example Plague Slinger, Way of Fire, etc. Or even if you need more tankiness, go with Rain Cry, or for sustain Rage Vitality for example, as filler 120 for the XHP and the Bloodspawn Moderns, the DK Monster set for extra ulti recovery and armor. Armor taps too heavy, the rest in the medium. No light armor in this case, you can also put one light through the monster set. With one well fitted, two sturdy and the rest impen. With Rallying Cry, you should swap out the impen pieces obviously for well fitted and sturdy. And then the chest and reinforced. On the jewelry full infused, with one prismatic, one magical recovery and one weapon spell damage glyph. The recovery ones definitely needed without veg vitality. With a sustain set, I would go full weapon damage here. Two maces, Nidon Sharp for the extra penetration, Flame Poison Chant. Any weapons are fine, even axes, since we have access to Major Minor Force on the setup, or swords if you want. I prefer maces, since Curse of Armor only applies max penetration on direct damage abilities, will not empower your dots. And back bar, nice stuff in defending with the escape points. Quick look on the skills, nothing crazy here, I kept it simple with Degeneration, Venomous Claw, Multiple Spammer, Shattering Rocks, SEC, Flames of Oblivion. And leap, backed by Inesas, Race Against Time, Vigor, Volatile Armor, Calculating Blood, and Corrosive Armor. So, pretty basic setup here. I've tested some stuff with the new scribing skills, not really worth on DK. All the skills we have are pretty essential, there is no really bar space for anything else. But I will definitely test some stuff with the scribing skills on other builds, so stay tuned for that. Race Dunmar for the extra weapon damage, spell damage, flame resistance and magicka stamina. Breton is a good option too for cost reduction. Khajiit is also possible with the crit damage or if you need something more tanky, Imperial for the cost reduction or not for extra resistance also work. Mundus Diatro needed for the magicka recovery, smoke bear hunch for stamina and mag recovery, Vamp stage 3 for the undeath passive, attribute points 26 nerf, the rest in Magicka, like this I'm at around 31k HP, at the moment I have the uh, M buff activated on Surudil, and Magicka around 21k with 18k stamina, more than enough, with an active tricep potion around 2k Magicka recovery and 1.7k stamina recovery, potion or tricep potion, and the detection potion, CPs, Wolf of Strike, Steady Aim, Exploiter and do this rebuff, if you need more tankiness, we'll an exporter for Ironclad and recipes, pretty basic with Stamper Suffering, Pain's Refuge, Celebrity and Slippery. Combination, prebuff yourself with Race Against Time, Volatile Armor, Vega and Flames of Oblivion. Start with Degeneration into Elisas, Venomous Claw, Shattering Rocks, into Leap, into Whip. If Corrosive is up, there's Corrosive in between. That's it with another PvP build with the new mythic. What do you think about Saint and Seducer? In my opinion, really, really powerful. There are some few scribing skills which I will test on different other builds, so stay tuned for that, like I said before. For now, enjoy the gameplay footage. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. You've been broken down Heart is
Feel you when there's no one around 